Guys, Mark Goldberg here from Mark Vlogs Watches with a quick word for your friend and mine, Archie Luxury, Paul Pluta, AC3, Archibald Chesterfield III. You know, he invented the quick whist watch check, and uh, the rest of us on YouTube, well, we just stole it. Help keep Archie full-time on YouTube by liking this video, watching this video, tell your fuckhead friends, and make sure to subscribe to his Patreon. And now, Archie Luxury. Hey guys, it's Archie Luxury. Today, guys, I'm doing a paid review. Paid review. This is uh, this was actually a phone call that came in, and I wanted to turn this into a, a bit more of an in-depth uh, video for this this client here. So, firstly, this is review Ju33 wristwatch check, and I'm wearing my I'm wearing my Rolex Polar. Polar Explorer 2. Okay, this came in, and I did a phone call with him. And he said to me, he said, Hi Arch, we'll be calling you to get some advice on the Omega Apollo 11, the 50th anniversary Speedmaster in solid yellow gold. That is to be issued 1,014 pieces only. Appreciate your research on it, and need some advice if it has any investment potential <clears throat> uh he said otherwise uh he's considering maybe a stainless steel daytona white dial or a, a bat girl from an ad okie dokie so this is an interesting question would you invest in the solid gold omega 50th anniversary i gotta be completely frank and honest with you uh omega does so many <coughs> of these limited editions admittedly the 50th anniversary is quite special uh it is it is quite special um however it's a lot of money the the um the solid gold omega i in 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 past times i have seen the 1960s late 60 1969 commemorative gold speedmaster now that is worth buying that is definitely worth buying but this particular issue piece, 1,014. Fuck, that's... Between you and me, I think that is far too many. Considering it's solid gold. Solid, solid gold. 1,000 of these pieces. Uh, that's, that's quite a lot. That's quite a lot. So, what do I think myself? Personally, look, look. It's impossible to crystal ball gaze and make... 100% uh, accurate predictions. If I knew that, you think I'd be doing paid reviews for 50 bucks a pop? Um, mm, exactly. So the truth is, but if I had that sort of money, what would I be investing in? And that's something that is that is a good question. I think myself, okay, for, for that money there, would I be putting it into a, a modern Speedmaster? No, no, no. At this point in time, I would not be buying any solid gold, any solid gold watches from Omega. I think the, the Omega Speedmaster, the first Omega in space, the Broad Arrow, they are fantastic watches in steel. If you really want to invest in solid gold, uh, my honest advice to you would be, Rolex, Rolex, Rolex. You buy Rolex Sports. Stay away from the Day Date. Um, the Sky Dweller. Uh, I'm a little bit out. I'm not 100% sure. But Solid Gold Sub, Solid Gold GMT, Solid Gold Yacht Master, Solid Gold Any Sports. And I think that would be the safer bet. Solid Gold Daytona. Yes. Solid gold yacht master, yes. Anything solid gold in sports, I think would be a better buy in Rolex. Okay, that's honestly my opinion. Very rarely buying a piece from an AD uh, commemorative issue really works out well and see the whole thing is i remember when the new the millennium was coming out there was fountain pen companies and everyone was having special millennium editions 
And I got to be honest with you, most of that stuff that was released by these luxury houses hasn't really gone anywhere great. It's not really pulling a super premium. This is the problem. So I myself, I my honest advice is there's better things to buy with your money. Uh, what is what is good buying at the moment? I tell you honestly, I tell you what's a great buy. Okay, so in the Patek Philippe market, things have gone crazy. Anything steel Patek is crazy. Nautilus or Aquanaut is crazy. The bit of the sleeper in 2019, uh, Patek Philippe dropped the 5296, which was their bread and butter. Calatrava line, guess what? If you buy one of those on the pre-owned market, that has got huge potential. It's classic Patek Philippe. They've depreciated. It's a very, very um, reliable piece. It uses the 324 movement, which is in the Aquanaut and the 5711 Nautilus. So that's I reckon is an absolute bargain. That's a bargain. That's a gold. If you want something in gold, I think that classic Patek Philippe is a good way to go. The fact that uh, something is gold is a bit of a double-edged sword. What other pieces in gold? Well, Rolex Sports is very, very good. You've got to be careful because often, and, and, and this is the whole thing with when you're buying gold pieces, you're talking about a very small end of the market because the prices start to go up. Solid gold submarinas, they've been sleepers for a while. They're starting to go up. Solid gold GMTs, they're good buying. Solid gold Daytonas, or that's where I'd be. If I was buying a sports watch, with potential, that's where I'd be going. Particular interest is the solid gold Daytona with the Zenith movement. That's been a bit of a sleeper. Prices have been soft. You can still buy very, very well in that genre. Buying solid gold, just because something's in solid gold, doesn't mean it's going to have huge market appeal. I'd, I'd be very reluctant to buy anything from Omega that is special editions. There have been a number of special editions that haven't really done much. There have been some limited editions that have gone crazy. The Snoopy, the Alaska Project, the uh, Speedy Tuesday, uh, Ultraman. There's, there's a number of Omegas. So it's a bit of a hodgepodge. And with my money, I want to go into sure bets. I don't want to be hodgepodge gambling so in, in my opinion there i'd very reluctant i i don't think there's many products especially for a maker like omega that i would buy in precious metal rolex is another that's a different kettle of fish rolex is um much much more desirable more has a bigger range they have some fantastic gold pieces i think rolex gold could be very very good investment but it takes a lot of money it takes a lot of money and personally uh this 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 investor here he, he's got quite a number of beautiful watches already i said i i wouldn't be taking the punt unless it really means something to you i think over a thousand pieces is Far too much. I think 300 is is a lot. A thousand pieces. That's um, that's ridiculous. That's just too much. And you've really got to look at who's going to buy these. The second last idiot. You've got to sell it to someone else who thinks they can sell it to someone else. The second last idiot to buy this piece because once the market tanks and they're They'll just be in free fall. And a lot of these limited edition millennium, they didn't really go anywhere. They, they promised so much. There was a huge premium and they did fuck all. So I, I've got to say personally, be careful what you buy in gold.
And with brands like Omega, they're okay in steel, but gold is just, you've got to be careful. And um, you want to buy sure things. You don't want to be taking risks. If it does go well, okay, you made a mistake. But I think there's more chance of it not going up than going up. So uh, that, that was my advice there. I said no, no. There you go. I'm on the record saying no. Guys, I'd like to hear your thoughts. Would you invest in a solid gold Omega for the 50th anniversary? The Speedmaster? Would you invest in it? Comments below. Like, subscribe, tell your fuckhead friends. Put some nasty comments below. Tell me what you think. And uh, until next time, fuckers. Ciao. Oh. Hey Archie Luxury fans, if you're into luxury, then you gotta be into 66 Buick Rivieras. Check out my son and I, Alex, as we restore this beautiful 66 Buick. Neighbors are having a picnic, you know, having fun and stuff. Me, I'm doing cars. It's what I've done my whole life. Hey guys, it's Paul Pluter. I'm the method actor who plays Archibald Chesterfield III. Guys, I want to have a quick talk to you. Do you need to sell a wristwatch? Do you want to uh, sell a piece uh, for reinvestment? Do you have too many watches? Well, guys, I'm here to tell you that my good friends at Sydney and Brisbane Vintage Watch Co., are looking for quality wristwatches for their store. Now, Ronnie has instructed me to tell you guys that he is paying more than other dealers. That's correct. He pays top prices for quality pieces. So guys, if you've got a Rolex, a Rolex you want to sell, or a Patek, or anything, you want to sell a wristwatch, Give the guys at Vintage Watch, Vintage Sydney, Vintage, well, it's Vintage Watch Co. Vintage Watch Co. Give them a call. That's right, guys. Um, <clears throat> they're paying good prices. They've always been very, very fair to me. And i, I got to tell you, they are nice people to do business with. I'm just trying to find their card here. Where are they? How did I, where did I put it? Where did I put it? Um, look, ask for Ronnie, Ronnie in Brisbane, or Philip in Sydney. Philip in Sydney, that's correct. They will look after you. Tell them Archie sent you. That's right, tell them Archie sent you. They're paying top prices. That's correct, Brisbane and Sydney. Vintage Watch Co. Your premium place to sell watches. Tell me, guys, this is for you. Tell them Archie sent you, and they will give you extra keen pricing. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, once again, Mark Goldberg for Archie Luxury AC3, the Pontiff Satan Deville. I want to sincerely thank you for having sat through this video because I know it was awful. But you know what? You do it for the greater good of humanity. Thank you so much. Now, a couple of quick pieces of homework. Now that you've watched this video, I would like you to hit thumbs up. If you must, hit thumbs down. But if you'd hit thumbs up, I would especially appreciate it. Go ahead and leave a really nasty comment and tell him how awful this content was. But most importantly of all, the entire reason that I am linking up with Archie Luxury in the first place. I am a published author. Let dogs be dogs. Available in bookstores, Amazon, and electronically somewhere near you. Remember, Archie Luxury, he's not just a figment of your imagination.